Hi there, it's Karen Lebo with VintageDazzle.etsy.com here with another vintage haul. This time, as promised in the last haul video, I am doing the silver jewelry that was mixed in with all the textiles from my sister-in-law. And it's a big lot of mostly Mexican silver, but there's a few other pieces of uh, different sources in there. And um, there's a whole lot of it. So, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start uh, with some brooches. There's some nice modernist brooches here. I hope that we're going to have some good luck with the focusing. This looks like uh, Mexican silver with amethyst, and this looks like a, um, I think it's a manufactured opal might even be a foil back. It's a little hard to tell, but it's pretty. It's iridescent, colorful, very modernist, very mid-century. And I am wrong. It is not Mexican silver. It is also a pendant. See, it wears like this, or you can wear it as a brooch. It's just Mark Sterling on the back. It doesn't look like Mexican silver. Okay, so this I think goes like this, another modernist, pretty, and this one is marked, looks like it's marked 95, no maker mark, it's a good hunk of silver. Brooch and a pendant hangs this way, or it hangs or it, this way. It's got an oxidized black engraving, I guess you might call that. And um, marks, marks, marks. Well, it's really dirty on the back. So it looks like there might be a mark right there. But I'm going to have to clean it before I can see what's there. It looks like there's something that looks like a bow tie. Okay, jury's out on that one. And here's another brooch. There we go. It has some very pretty, it has abalone and it also has like, um, mosaic stones in there. It's a shooting star, I guess. Kind of what that looks like. Okay, this one is Mexican silver. And it says Beto, B-E-T-O, and then C-R-O. And an eagle mark. So that's an interesting one. That looks like an old eagle. I don't see the old eagle marks very well. There were two different, maybe even three different styles of the eagle mark. One was really detailed and one was more simple. I always see the simple ones. Okay, here's another brooch, Apollonie. Ooh, look how colorful that is. That is very pretty. And this was the Mexican silver. Maybe I can read it easier on the camera. Maybe. Hmm. That's got a lot of information on it. it. Looks like it has an eagle mark. Wow. That's just got a lot of letters on it. Echo in Mexico, Sterling, Eagle Mark 3, which is Tosco, 95, and then L N I or L N T. So, and this is also a pendant or a pin. And another modernist with a maybe black onyx stone. And this one. Oh, I don't see any marks on this one at all, but I'm sure it's silver. Hmm, interesting. 
pretty. Okay. Oh, absolutely love this one. Very mid-century, the fish motif. Everybody loved fish in the mid-century era. And an atomic little Sputnik, not atomic, a Sputnik little star, little asterisk. Uh, so this is inlaid onyx. Not sure what the eye is made out of. Might be turquoise. And on the back, it says a bunch of stuff. It is Mexican silver. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to work on reading that. There's some letters. It is signed. It's really hard to read. M-A-B, H-A-B, something like that. <sighs> okay, and this, this, these are so sweet. These are some little sterling silver buckles. These are old. These are, could be Victorian. Aren't they sweet? Very simple. And they are marked sterling. They have a number. And there's a maker mark above where it says sterling. But it's very, very hard to read. I'm going to have to get some major magnification to figure out what that says. But those are so sweet. Okay, we've got a couple more brooches. It's another inlaid abalone. The, the colors of the abalone can really make or break a, a brooch like this. Those are really bright bright and colorful pieces and it's inlaid really nicely, very smooth. And it's also a, a um, pendant. And it is signed. It has an eagle mark of a one. That's going to be probably Mexico City. Sterling. A.D. something. Right there. Okay. And we have a butterfly, sterling silver butterfly. That's very cute. And Mexico, this is going to be a newer piece, 1980s, probably. Signed TC50, maybe. <laughs> it's hard to read. And let's see. This is very uh, mid-century leaf motif. Mexican silver smiths love their leaves. FB Tosco. And I'm not seeing an eagle right away, so that's going to be a really old piece, probably 1940s. Uh, okay, I think I got the brooches taken care of. And let's do some necklaces. This, oh, I saw this and just almost swooned. Look at this. Isn't this wonderful? It's so chunky. Big old choker necklace. Um, unfortunately, it's not signed. Or it is, I'm sorry, it is signed, but it's a newer piece. It's post-1978, but still beautiful and very heavy. That is such a neat necklace. And then we have this fun, puffy pendant with the inlaid mosaic turquoise, copper, silver. There's some brass in there. Very, uh, based on pre-Columbian art. And the mark is on the on here. And, of course, it's all run off the edges, so you can't read it. It may be Ballesteros, because I can see the I-S-T-E. But I'm going to have to research that more. Um, let's see, does it have an eagle mark on it? I don't see an eagle mark. Oops, sorry. Uh, it says Mexico, it says Metales Casados, which is mixed metal, and there is an eagle mark of a one, Mexico City, so probably not Ballesteros, because they were in Tosco. 
So, I have to do a little bit more work on that. And then, oh, I love this. This is a coral necklace. This is, <laughs> I hear Muffin's mouse going off upstairs. Handmade Jerusalem Israel Sterling Silver. It is, oh, it was a pen. The pen's broken off. Now it's just a necklace. And, oh my God. <laughs> oh, hi, Muffin. She ran right through the jewelry, but it was like she was running on water. She didn't disturb any of it. I heard it jingle a little bit. Um, and some, uh, I think these are clip-on earrings that go with. So those are beautiful. I don't see much of that Israel silver, but I get it every once in a while. It seems to sell pretty well. Hmm. Pardon me while I have a sip of coffee. Now this is just crazy. This I'm, I would call brutalist. It is really heavy. And I unfortunately can't make out the maker mark on it. It's right there. It says sterling right there and then it says something here. Something D-L-E-R or O-L-E-R and then it looks like it's just kind of messed up. You can't see it. There's maybe a T right there. <sighs> so again, mystery. Mystery maker mark. But wow, what a cool piece. Okay, here is another necklace. It's a very uh, mid-century looking piece. Isn't that sweet? Is this Staincraft? Let's see. I'm thinking this one might be Danecraft. Let me look. <sighs> Where is the clasp? I've lost the clasp. Err. Here it is. Yeah, it is Dankraft. I've got it upside down, but it does it says Dankraft Sterling. Registered trademark. That is very sweet. Dankraft jewelry is quality is always so good. And then we have this lovely bracelet. Come on, focus. There we go. Oh, it has, look, I didn't realize this. It's etched. It says 1945, August 28th, Tilly, Skippy, Marnie, Hazel. Oh, these are such mid-century names. Gladys. E. J. M. Slinky. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love it. Let's see. And this is Forget-me-not. Sterling, forget-me-not. I'm going to do some research into that. That is so funny. Now, is it slinky or stinky? Might be stinky. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is adorable. Oh, so sweet. And this is another bracelet. Very modernist but newer because look at that lobster clasp. That's a very like 80s, 90s lobster clasp. Very pretty though and it says 95 and I don't see anything else on it. Okay, check this out. This is a lovely bracelet. Little cuff bracelet. Little big. And look at all this nice it's always hard to show these on camera. Let's see. We can get it right side up maybe.
Hmm. Okay, that says Mexico, 95, JGL. Some other marks I can't really read. Some kind of a graphic mark. That could be pretty old. Oh, it has an eagle mark. Three. Okay, cool. And we have, this is a pendant. <laughs> it's a peace sign. I'm going to take a wild guess and say that came from the 60s. Okay, and we have one ring, just one ring in this whole group. And it's a pretty little malachite ring. It's inlaid very nicely. And it says Sterling 95. So, don't know the origin of that. Okay, so everything else here. Oh, there's my yoga block. <laughs> Everything else here is earrings. There are just tons and tons of earrings. So, I guess I'll just get started. These are Japanese damascene. Some boats. These are screwback. A lot of these are screwbacks. I probably will sell the screwbacks in lots of two to five pair at a time, maybe two to four pair. Here, I'll go ahead and look at these other damascene. Might lock those damascene earrings together. Let's see. Not marked. But those are pretty. Um, oh, they're marked here. Oh gosh, I can't, it says Japan, I think, yeah. There might be a silver designation, I can't, can't tell. Okay, we have some, these are some very mid-century modern, I think they're laid, inlaid with lapis, and these are post earrings. That one's not marked. This one. Wow. Not marked at all. How strange. I would be shocked if they weren't silver. Okay. And we have some little triangle. These are also, um, well, they're screw backs with the oxidized metal, oxidized silver background. Okay, these are going to be Mexican silver. Can't quite read the mark. It's underneath the hardware. But there's an eagle mark three. Oh, there. It's um something like Gutierrez, maybe. Um, yeah, I'll have to look a little closer at that. And oh, look at these. Aren't these cool? These are, okay, they go this way. A little carved green onyx. Aztec or Mayan face. And these are signed 0925, Echo in Mexico. Looks like there might be signed, but really hard to see. And somebody paid 55 bucks for these earrings. Good Lord. At least that's what the tag says. Ah, there's, this, there's the initials. J-G-G. -G. You can see it really clearly on this one. Come on, I'm trying to block out the background so you can see it. J-G-G, -G, 95. Cool. These are fun. These are wire earrings. These are very tarnished, but looks like black onyx dangles. It looks like it says 925. I don't see any other signage on them. There's some more. 
jang oops come back here jangles little zigzaggies so very cute and these are Mexican newer mark these ones are kind of similar but instead of zigzaggy or spirally let's see let's see if we have any marks on these oh yes these are marked Mexico 925 TJ46 <laughs> so those are going to be newer also and these are some post earrings. Oops, sounds like the kiddos next door have been released. So there's going to be some screaming. Mexico. TT22. Okay, for a change of pace, we have some cyan silver earrings with the goddess. Mikala, she's the lightning goddess. Um, oh, I thought that said something, but it's just tarnish, I think. Let's see. Underneath the cliff, aha, it does say Siam Sterling. Okay. And here's some more. These are some screw back. Oops. Is there more Siam Sterling? Siam Silver? I don't know what goddess that is or who it is. These are marked Sterling Siam. <laughs> okay, these look like some mega 1980s enamel puffy square earrings with X's on them oh, so I think these are these are Mexican silver um, 925 TC14 sterling Mexico, and there is a graphic mark that looks like kind of like a, I don't know what it is. But come on, Mark. There we go. You can see that strange little mark up there in the upper right. Don't know what that is. Okay, Here's some little screwbacks with a little spiral design. And these say Sterling Tosco, Tosco Sterling. Hmm, interesting. This might be older. Well, screwbacks are almost just automatically older. They just went out of fashion in the 60s, really. I guess you still see them after that, but not as often. Some little green onyx little dudes and this is signed something ACA they, they are Mexican silver of course uh, yeah I can't really quite read those I hate it when the hardware gets in the way Oh, look at these. These are sweet. Malachite, Onyx. These are 950 silver. Always nice. Uh, but they're not signed. There's some more crazy, puffy 1980s earrings. Gotta be. Got a little brass embellished rope on there let's see ok 
Okay, not marked, and oh, here we go. Okay, these are TJ 20-something Mexico. Uh-oh. I lost one. The pair to this one may have been a casualty of muffin muffin streak across the but I have a a brooch for sale I think that matches these perfectly. Maybe I'll just add them to the listing. Looks like there's a mark obliterated by the hardware. Oh, hard to say. Well and it looks like let's see. Now here's Oh, here's the pair. Here's the mate. Yes, it is marked. This one is marked, and it's Eagle Mark 3, and definitely sign MS or HS, maybe, or SM. Oh, it's hard to tell. Okay, and then we have these um, little fishies. They can get them turned around. There they are. Those are cute. Little fishies. These are marked silver. Silver Mexico. So those are going to be probably probably 1930s. Old, old ones. These are cute. Little jugs decorated with abalone. And there's a mark. Looks like the same mark. LCC 95 Mexico. Some more big old 1980s earrings. Wow, They're really tarnished. These are the, I guess that brass and silver was really popular in the 80s. Clip ons. And they are marked. These are Mexico 95. TG. 69, I think. Okay. These are really cool. It's only dangling like grapes. I bet these are very old. Oh, looks like they're marked, so let's see if I'm right. They are marked C P. DJ or DU? Wow, that's a lot of letters inside an oval. Um, oh, I can't quite read it. It's too tiny, but I'll be able to with it. Okay. Um, there's another pair. Very similar, but a little bit less extravagant. And these ones are, huh, I don't see any, oh, okay, they're, they're marked on the stem, sterling. I don't think those are Mexican. Huh, funny, very similar. Oh, these are cute. These look like they could be Native American uh, Fred Harvey era 30s, but... I'm guessing since there hasn't been any other Native American jewelry in here that they're Mexican. But let's see. Oh, they're all taped to this card. Okay, I can't get these apart right now. But, no, I'm not seeing any marks on them at all. So they could be Native American. Very cute. And these, I think, are Native American. 
because they're not marked at all. Aren't those pretty? Big, big old chunks of turquoise. Those are gorgeous. They are clip-on, and I think, oh, I'm wrong. They are marked, but they just say sterling. I don't see a maker mark on them. Oh, those are pretty. I like those. And these, where are they? There's some little hats, I think. Oh, those are sweet. Those are really beautifully done. Look how detailed that etching or repoussé or whatever they call this. Chasing, I guess. There's the back. They are definitely marked with WJ. WJ. That's a real clear mark, at least. I don't even see an eagle mark, so I'm guessing these might be pretty old. Okay, then we have these, these are interesting, and these are marked Mexico, A-A-M. Okay. Well, at least some of these are signed. I might be able to figure out who did them, especially the older ones. These have a little bit of brass on them, little wire danglies. These are very cute. And, oh, these are hallmarked. Cool. I don't know if you can see that or not. They are hallmarked. And it looks like... No, I don't know whose hallmarks those are. I'm going to have to do some research on that. But, you know, probably uh, European. Or, or UK. Those are very pretty. Mother of Pearl dangles. I like, this is a great way to pair up earrings. You get some of this chiffon ribbon, just cut a little piece and stick the wires right through. Less bulk, keeps them together, that's a good idea. And these are marked, looks like they're marked Sterling 95. Oh no, I'm sorry, they're um, BOMA, B-O-M-A. That's, I've had one or two other pieces that were BOMA. And I forget exactly who BOMA is, but they're desirable. And this is interesting. These are earrings that look like spoons. Just the bowls of the spoon. Come on. Are those fun? Maybe you could like pick up satellite signals. <laughs> okay, and these are marked, or not marked. So perhaps someone actually did make them from spoons. Not marked at all. Okay, bear with me, we're getting close. Check these babies out. Those are cool. Not sure what the green stone is. And these appear to be Mexican. Uh, I can read this. It says Malima. Malima. You're not going to be able to see that very well. That's what it says, though. Okay. We have these, which are like with the inlaid turquoise mosaic, little groovy dangles. Let's see if there's any mark on these. And I 
don't see a mark on these. Okay, coming up on the last ones, and I saved these to last because they're so funny. These are, if I can get them turned around right, little kitty, little kitty earrings. <laughs> Those are so funny. Maybe I should keep them, but I have cat earrings already. Probably enough. These are marked 925, no maker. And then one more pair of more kitties. There we go. Now you can see them. Aren't they cute? <laughs> These are really funny. <laughs> Let's see. Are they signed? Uh, no, and yes. These are Mexican silver. Newer. Uh, TC109 or something like that. 925. Okay, well, that is it for the silver jewelry. Thanks so much for watching. If any of these pieces strike your fancy, just uh, send me a note. On It's best if you do it on Etsy. Um, I, I do check email, but I only check it once a day. Um, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do these haul videos once or twice. Well, I usually do them once a week, and I do my vlogs once a week where I show you what I'm listing and selling and other stuff that's going on. And I appreciate your comments and your sharing. And have a great week. I'll see you again soon. Bye.